My well, next guest is an award-winning mezzo-soprano who sold more than four million albums, performed in front of the Queen and judged an absolutely incredible Friday night show called Pop Star to Opera Star. Now, though, she's the voice behind Andrew Lloyd Webber's new musical, Love Never Dies. <laughs> Welcome, Catherine Jenkins. Hello. Hello. Love the fluffy bits. Thank Wonderful. You. Welcome. Good to see you. Well, it opens next week. Love never dies in the West End at the Adelphi. The musical. You've got the honour of singing this on discs. So how did this come about? It, this, for me, is such a massive honour because when I was little, um, my sister and I, we used to have the Andrew Lloyd Webber Easy Piano Book. <laughs> and my sister would play it and I would sing all the songs. And then a few months before, well, before the end of last year, I got a call inviting me to Andrew's house and he asked me to, to sing the lead track. And I'm, I'm so thrilled. It's such a beautiful song and I'm really, really, really pleased he asked me. It's going to be interesting, this, because the, the, um, the, not the soundtrack, but it's for the, the stage cast me, the, the CD is obviously going to come out. Yeah. So, in a way, are you in direct competition with the... Uh, oh, gosh, no. The, I mean, the, the cast the recording is, yeah, it, you know, it's going to be amazing and it's the full thing. And I just feel, as I said, really honoured that he's asked me to, to do this and that I'm able to put this on the new album. So it's going to be on Believe, which comes out again in March, so it'll be a new version of the album. Yeah, never stopped it, because, I mean, we had the pleasure of, uh, up until last weekend, of uh, working on Pop Star to Pop Star. <laughs> you and Rolando became quite a duo there as the, <laughs> the mentors, the mad, wonderful Rolando Viazon. Oh. Did you have a good time? I loved him. I loved the whole show. I mean, I don't know what to do with myself now on a Friday night. <laughs> I feel like we're back in that mode. It, it was brilliant. And I used to be a singing teacher before I got the record deal. So I loved the fact that I was back in, you know, in the week working as mentors with the singers. And didn't they come on so well? I mean, the journey that they went through. I don't for me think was any of us expected them and the no. likes of Bernie and Darius and Cote and, and uh, Marcelo doing those amazing notes. I think people thought, oh, this will be so embarrassingly yeah. terrible. <laughs> And they were incredible, I felt. I really, really was impressed with them. I thought that they did so well. And it was a tough final, you know. I think people, you know, were pretty much split down the middle. I know that, you know, Darius won and he, I think he's going to go on and do really good I did good hear things. that, I don't know if it's true, I heard that he got 50.1 and that oh, Bernie got 49.9. That That's what I was later told. Wow. Actually, that was, I don't know. But you've got the taste for judging now. A little bird tells me, or I read in the paper, that as Danny Minogue is not doing X Factor, that Catherine Jenkins has said, am I free? <laughs> is that true? No, I don't. Well, no, I, I didn't say that. Um, but having done this, I did really enjoy it, and I think I surprised myself. I thought that I would be the nice one on the panel, and apparently I was more the, the strict Oh, you did one. become known to the rest of us as Miss Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Jenkins. There was a moment when I realised that you were taking your role as mentor seriously, and that was when Darius hadn't practised the song he was meant to practise. And there was a cut at a shot of Catherine at the other side of the room going... <laughs> and it was just pure, how dare you? And I thought, oh, she is taking this very seriously. Well, so I you think, can be tough then? I didn't think I was going to be tough, <laughs> but I, I think you do... You need to be honest with people and say, say it how it is. And, and I do get fed up when I watch these, these talent shows where people are really, really nice about things that weren't really that good, because then it's difficult to, you know, properly explain, especially on our show, you know, people were voting, and I think... Rolando and I were there to sort of guide people and to say if it was good or bad, and that's what we, that's what we needed to do. Constructive yeah. criticism. Yeah. Um, well, you won't have Friday nights to worry about for too long, because starting tomorrow, yes. you're on tour. I am. I'm going you out... You don't get that Darcy Bustle this time, though. You're no. on your own now this I'm, time. Which is quite frightening. Um, but when I did Viva La Diva, I had Darcy, and we played the arenas then, so I got a bit of a taste of it that time. But this is my first solo arena tour. Yeah. And I've got Kim Gavin again, who choreographed our show, and he did the Take That Circus tour. He's choreographed something amazing. I mean, it's really a spectacular rather than just a classical concert. It's not enough now, Catherine, is it, just to stand there and sing? No. You've it's... got to offer so much more. Are you confident with that? You like the movement bit? I, I do like the movement bit. I, I do find it quite challenging. And there is... I can't say too much, but there is one moment in the show where... 
All I can say is, thank goodness I've got insurance for it. Yes. <laughs> I think my mum is going to freak. She's Are we not talking even about believe... leaving the ground? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite frightening, but I'm loving it. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Good thank luck you. You'll with, have to come the to the London I show. I shall. I'd love to come and see you. Come and see you doing it properly, as it yes. were. Mind you, you had to do it properly as well in, in Pop Star Drop Star, both you and Orlando. I did feel you when you had to judge and then get up and sing. But, uh, yeah, that well. bit was quite difficult, but yeah. lovely to sing with them. She thought that was a challenge. The tour would be a good one. <laughs> Castle will be back a little bit later to perform the title song from Andrew Lloyd Webber's much anticipated musical Love Never Dies. But for now, my thanks to, as we used to call her, Dame Catherine Jenkins. <laughs> We saw her earlier, and she's back to perform the title song from Andrew Lloyd Webber's new musical, With Love Never Dies, Catherine Jenkins! <laughs> It takes you by surprise, then seizes full control. Try to deny it and try to protest, but love won't let you go once you've been possessed.
Wonderful stuff. Catherine's talk kicks off in Birmingham tomorrow, and Love Never Dies is previewing now at London's Adelphi Theatre. Fab. Thank you, Catherine.